that specifically foreign authors should keep in mind when submitting to international journals? That's a great question. Um, if, a, if an international author is submitting to an English language journal, I guess the, um, the one point that's, that, that they need to keep in mind is that it is an English language journal and, and um, sometimes fair or not fair, it can, and can, it can be very hard for an editor to uh, evaluate the science if they can't, um, if they're not able to read it, if it's very poorly written, for instance. Um, so this is where um, an author might consider talking to a, uh, a colleague who's, um, who's very conversant in English or something and seeing if they can help them. They, there's certainly a lot of services available now that an author can take their um, manuscript to and, and get some help with that. So I think those are all good tools uh, for an author to reach out. Um, and, and those are pretty new within the last 10 years and I think it's I think those are great resources for authors to to take advantage of if they can um, of course there's a cost involved sometimes but I think in the long run it'll be it'll be worth it to get that extra help um, and then another thing that could happen for instance especially in medicine if international um, if for instance the practice of something in OBGYN is slightly different in say China or you know a, another country than it is in the United States that might actually be something that um, that would make it difficult for that manuscript to be published because our audience is is very um, even though it is an international journal our audience is mostly in the United States and that's where they're practicing medicine so that may be a consideration that an author needs to keep in mind about the differences in how medicine, for instance, is practiced in the two regions might be different, and that might be something that would um, bar them from being published in that journal. I was actually trying to say more so, for instance, if there's a drug that's used in China that's not used in the United States, that would be problematic because our readers wouldn't be, have access to that drug to use with their patients. So it's more so the practice of medicine itself um, if it's if there's differences regional differences in that um, that might be that might be a consideration. What advice would you give um, international authors uh, so that they can successfully publish their articles in international journals? Uh, I think most of the points you covered in the previous question were similar, but mm -hmm. is there any like a checklist sort of like okay these are the five points keep in mind one two three four five. Uh, yeah, so I think uh, if there's five points, for instance, an author wants to keep in mind uh, when they're considering submitting a manuscript and they want it to be accepted in an international journal, I guess uh, number one is the manuscript in the scope of the journal that they're targeting. Number two, if they've read the instructions for authors and followed those instructions. Number three, is their paper um, written well? Is it you know to the best of the abilities? Have they reached out to other resources if they're available and taken advantage of those resources? Um, and then uh, number four, double checking your work with your authors, uh, your co-authors for instance, making sure that everyone signed off on it and um, and an agreement and that you've read it carefully. And then um, number five, just double checking the instructions of our authors again, I guess I've already covered this, but just making your own checklist and saying, do I have a cover letter? Is the manuscript formatted the way they ask? Um, do I have all my tables uploaded? Do I have my figures? Do I have all the forms that are required? Just sort of housekeeping things and making sure that all of those are in place before you even move forward. Um, have you noticed any particular trends in manuscripts that are submitted by international authors to your journal? For example, um, there's a communication issue with them or they do not follow formatting guidelines so um, are there any specific trends that you've noticed uh, in manuscripts coming from international authors i don't think i've noticed any trends from international authors and it may be a bit reassuring for international authors to hear that some of the um the errors that they may make are the ones that they're that um they're your colleagues in the United States make as well. So it's not unique to international authors to um, 
to have forgotten to look through the instruction for authors or to not format something correctly or to even have things that aren't written well. So that's hopefully that's reassuring to the international authors that it's sort of a universal thing that all authors <laughs> share, um, you know, because they're coming from a place of academics and, you know, science and maybe writing and things like that aren't really their first focus. And of course it's not because they're, they're in science and medicine. So, um, so, uh, so hopefully that's reassuring, but I don't, I don't know if I've really seen myself noticed a, a real trend um, that makes an international paper um, any different from its um, equivalent from the United States. Um, uh, what about quality of English or clarity of the manuscript? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so qual I think, yeah, so I guess uh, the quality and the, and the clearness of the English can be an issue with international papers. And that's where we encourage them to seek out um, manuscript assistance help. And so we actually do have that in our instructions for authors. We do have that in our revision letters. So if it, it is something that we want to send out for revision, um, and we might include that paragraph about seeking out. And we don't, you know, we, we list a whole bunch of them. You know, we're not affiliated with any. And we ask them to do their homework and to, you know, and, and we, we have embedded them, but just to seek them out. And that's not to um, be disrespectful of them um, because they're talented scientists and physicians. It's just ours is an English language journal and that's something that's, you re we require that clarity and the quality uh, before publication. So hopefully the, that type of advice is received in the spirit that it's intended, you know, just to be helpful and um, because we all want a good product at the end.